Hello viewers, welcome to the channel, welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the 81 footer Higgins PT6 motor torpedo boat. So this is going to be our first uh, ship tutorial on the channel. This is a one to one scale boat. Let's begin. So for uh, the first layer, I'm going to place down one another warp block. And I'm going to go out one, two, three, four, with a brick stair right in front. So we have a row of yeah, four nether warp blocks, a stair in the front, and uh, towards the back of the first block placed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So in total we should have a row of twenty-one blocks and then one stair in front. So uh, actually we can go from the back or the I remember the ship terms for this. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to the sides now. We'll place down row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The stern, that's what it is. Where was I? Like seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And then we'll place down two brick upside down stairs and a up brick slab right in front. Actually, this never mind. Okay, so two two normal stairs, one slab in front, and then off to the side, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven brick stairs, or brick upside down stairs, and one, two, three, and four brick up slabs. Now on the bottom of the keel, we put our rudders in and our uh, screws. So first, we're going to place down one Acadia, Acacia, I don't know, red trapdoor, we're just going to red, a red, tra red trapdoor right in the bottom block of the stern with a red trap with a red fence to either side for the rudder. And we're going to keep these trapdoors and place one down on the uh, first block, maybe the first block, one, two, three, four, or five, so on the fifth one. And then we're going to take it back to the third uh, stair. Once we have that in place, we can switch these out for our levers and rods and skill skills. So we place down row three levers. And rod going off the back of each one with a, with a normal skeleton skull right at the back. So, once you're that done, I'll finish up the first layer and we can move on to layer two. To begin the second layer, I'm going to place down one stone block right on top of this upstone stair, place down one stone block right in front, and we can carry this down one, two, three, and four blocks and build another row. Actually, we're going to do one stone uh, stair upside down facing toward out to the side, then one block behind, and we could just do two blocks like that. So those are our two stone blocks, and we can carry this down. That was 11 blocks. And at the back, we can just build a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And uh, continuing on this row, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I think we can just, just cover that up. Like so. Continuing here, we're going to place down one stone slab and one upside down stone stair facing towards the back of it. And we'll carry down stone blocks all the way to the stern. Just like so. So that should finish up our second layer and we can move on to layer three. 
to begin our third layer, we'll place down one stone block right on top of our previous one with a stone upside down stair in front. So on this block, we'll place down a stone upside down stair facing towards the inside. So we should, we should have three stairs like so. And then we're going to just carry on with blocks in the back. One and two. And then this will be a stone stair facing towards the back. And this is going to be stone blocks. A row of eight blocks right behind uh, the stair. So we should have something that looks like this. Moving on. We're going to take our stone slabs and build a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to uh, do this bow part first. We're going to build down, build a row of three spruce planks, one to each side right there. And right in the middle, we're going to do some banners. So this one is yeah, they're pretty simple. Place the one down line down the middle in the middle. And one with the line on the side, on the side of course. So moving on, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it should end at this row. All spruce planks. And in the middle, we're going to need some stone slabs and some network uh, slabs. First, we're going to place down one nether brick slab two stone slabs, and then three dead slabs. Starting from the back of this layer, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four spruce slabs. And on this front, we're going to place down a stone brick a stair facing towards the outside, and then a quarter stair right behind it. So moving on to the sides, we'll place down one iron bar, three spruce pressure plates, another iron bar, and another pressure plate. So now we can put in the torpedoes. So first we're just going to place down two spruce stone like this. Put a placer block down. So we can place down a down piston like so. two pistons facing upwards with the skull to skull like so. We can debug these. And we're going to have two gates at the back like so, opened up. And they're going to be in wall true, I believe. Yeah, in wall true. So let's see how that's done. Now I'll finish up the one, two, third layer. And we can dive right, ha, dive, we're going to do submarines later. We'll go right to the, what did I just say? Fourth layer, right. Okay, so we're going to start with the cabin first. Place down one, two, and three stone stairs right on top of our, our rope banners. And that might happen, so I might have to do something about this. I don't remember how exactly. Well, I think I remember. Something like that, I'm, I'm not sure why that happens. But we're going to take some spruce pressure plates. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll do the main bridge, I suppose, first. We're going to carry down uh, two black wool. We're going to take. Do we have any slabs? Back here. One slab 
and then one stair facing towards the back. But... And for the roof of the cabin, place down one, two, three spruce. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I guess they, I could use iron trap doors, but I don't like how they have the holes in them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. When it's like a black block, and you can kind of see through it, and it doesn't look too good. But anyway, which one? Uh, carpets right in front. Now we can take our spruce trap doors. Also going to use some gray wool. So this row of one, two, three, four should actually be gray wool. I'm going to place down a iron trapdoor on both of the first spruce blocks. I'm going to use our debug stick to open them up. So at this point, we can do our iron bars and spruce pressure plates. So two end rods, like so, followed by spruce pressure plates. And this block should also be spruce. Iron bars. Cover up the stone with the spruce pressure plates. Spruce, pl spruce pressure plates behind them. And place down iron bars right in front of the outside stairs with a iron chapter right in between. And we can place down these spine frames with a block of iron inside. Moving on, we can build a row one, two, three, and four spruce pressure plates. So next we're going to take, and we'll do the rigging later, we'll take likely banners, cauldron, you know trapdoors again, Okay, so we'll place down one cauldron to each side behind the trapdoors with an iron bar on the outside and flip them upwards. I don't know why that worked, but like so. I'm going to take this uh, Lycra banner and place it like so. We're going to take our andesite walls, place down one and two, and then the bridge fence gate right behind. I'm going to use our debug stick right here. With the south tall up will be true. And we're going to ruin this. I'm going to do it again. Up, up true, south north tall. And I did forget from the last layer. We'll place down one or two scaffolding. When you're placing something next to a debug piston, make sure you just debug it. With an end rod placed on top. Also gonna need an iron trap door and a stone button. Let's place down the stone button on the back stone block for the torpedo on debug these. So put a trap door on. So the idea is to make it kind of like like it's a bit sloped backwards. Now we can ruin our debugging once more. Place it down to spruce push bites. Like so. Next, we can take our no line frames. Place down one to each side of the uh, walls, the first walls. And next, for our machine guns. I don't know if these are the uh, 762s or the 50 cals. Quick fence gate with a chain, and we can need wall true to lay him down. 
we can also do our uh, portals. So place down one right on top of this first, or right on the block that's corresponding to this there. Then we're going to skip one block, one, two, and three. Skip one block and one more. Same thing on the other side. And we can power true to flatten, flatten them out. Like so. Next, all we need to do is put in the mast and the rest of the rigging. There's going to be one and two uh, birch fences. We can take our barriers, place down one barrier that's adjacent to the top with a lever placed on it and one end rod to each side. And lastly for the rigging, we're going to place down So, one place a block right below the uh, end rods, then one in front and one behind. Using our world edit thing, just to make things easier for us. It's not going to be impossible if you don't have it, but it just makes it a lot easier. We're just going to do line up barriers. See where it goes. Okay, I guess it did a bit different than last time. Oh wait, wait, wait! I know why. I know why. Maybe. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just losing it right now. Why is it two right here and three right here? I don't know. But we can just fix that anyway. So once we have that done, we can just kind of mirror it on the inside by hand since it's not too much. One, two, and three. It goes down two. And then it goes towards the middle. And we can also flatten these out to make it look more thin. And on the back, pretty similar. Looks like it did it the same way for the back. So it goes out too. Oops. Then it goes down one, out three. And then for the middle, it goes out one, down one, out three, down one, out two. Flatten these out. And once you have that done, that should finish up our Higgins PT6 motor torpedo boat. Hope you enjoyed our first ship tutorial, one to one scale. And I'll see you in the next video.